the government has responded with excessive violence against unarmed protesters. I'm gravely concerned about the human rights and humanitarian crises that the country is facing. The mounting casualty rate among civilians is alarming. It underscores the Syrian government's lack of restraint in its efforts to crush dissent. The number of those killed in incidents involving protests is believed to have exceeded 1,100 persons, including women and children. The number of persons arbitrarily detained following waves of arrests and house-to-house -house searches is estimated at more than 10,000, with numerous cases emerging of the torture and ill-treatment of detainees. The EU also calls for the immediate release of all those arrested for their participation in peaceful protests. It condemns the arrest of Syrian journalists. The EU urges the Syrian authorities to respond to the legitimate demands of the Syrian people by launching an inclusive and genuine national dialogue and by implementing without delay meaningful political reforms. The Syrian government continues to repress the legitimate demands of their people through killings, torture, and arbitrary arrests. We strongly condemn the, its use of force against demonstrators, and we support Canada's joint statement.